happening in some circles. Can we say that African men are naturally polygamous? What on earth can influence a man who signed on to a monogamous marriage to now opt for a polygamous one? What discussion should come with such changes and is it even fair to the first wife? Now let's flip the coin. Why can't most men stand polyandry and is polygamy an antidote to side chicks? I've got a thousand and one questions on this subject. This is Mons and Cardos on Ghana Web TV with Paula Amabruni. We'll be right back. Mm, right there. Welcome back to Moons and Cuddles. It's always a pleasure to come your way to talk about issues that usually affect our relationship and how best we can spice our relationship. Now, today's topic is very dear to me because recently it was trending. I'll give you the, you know, the whole intro and why it became a big deal. But as people say, it is normal. The big question is, does polygamy cure psychic? You know, once a man got all the women to satisfy his curiosity and all his pleasures and you just name it, will that stop him from cheating? So should women consider, you know, opening up the marriages to the introduction of first, second, third wife if they don't want any wahala with today's side chick, tomorrow's side chick? And are even women even open to such conversation? We're we'll just looking forward to answering some of these questions that are on your mind that we all want answers to. Today is special because I've got the finest people to help me do justice to the topic. I have here with me radio personality, my senior in university and also in the media space, Caleb Neboy. He's the host of Showbiz On Star. Caleb, you welcome. Paula, thank you for having me. I'm humbled. It's a pleasure to have you. Anytime. It's been a while, you know. <laughs> Neboy is controversial. Let me talk to you. Let me even inform you before no, we start. He will not accept it or you will accept the time. No, I'm not. I'm not. We will live to see. <laughs> We are not doing this alone. We have here Cecilia Anubani, my favorite <laughs> actress. Yummy mummy. Hey. Sissy, you're looking good. Thank you, as always. I try to come in for you. Yeah, <laughs> you do. And I appreciate that. Thank I appreciate you. that too. Sissy, today there's, it's, it's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the women, I know time. they are looking forward to us to, you know, defend them and. Yeah. set the record straight but whilst doing that we also want to understand the men know right. where they are coming from because mm -hmm. two people in a relationship at, a, at some point you have to compromise and all that that's even the person is deserving we'll talk right. about that exactly. now let's just move on to the conversation mm. me boy mm. you met a woman you married and as time goes on she's like okay she wants to introduce another partner mm -hmm. into the relationship I know it's not common in our part of the world. Yeah, I know it's not Why common in our part of the world. <laughs> what would you be your reaction? Are you even going to second to that? The woman introducing another gentleman to me. Yes, please. No, not to you. You know, like the whole thing that we've kind of normalized, a man should have side check and then, you know, take up a first or second mm -hmm. wife. If your wife ever comes up with such discussion, how are you going to handle it? Why would she do such a thing. Hey. Are we not in Africa? We are in Africa. Listen, here in Africa, one of our norms is a man having a second wife. Moreover, if you read the Bible, it tells you the number of wives King Solomon had. Even here in Ghana, we've had one of our famous men of God tell us it's seven to one. Mm. There's no way in the Bible that says a woman should do two or three more men. No. It is stated clear. And you see, because the women are more than the men, it is only proper for a man to say, look, <clears throat> let me just add one or two. It's, no, it's, it's normal. It's not even a big deal. It will, it will only become a tough thing to do when the man is not financially sound. 
because at the end of the day, you bringing somebody in to add up to your, your, your first wife, um, it takes a lot of um, money, you know, going to, to a home to even uh, seek for a honey marriage, it comes with, with a lot of responsibility too as well. But if you are financially sound and you are good to go, having a second wife is not a big deal. But I don't see why a woman should go and introduce a man to a husband as I want to marry a second husband. She got nerves. Can you imagine? Hey. Do you have nerves? No. So, if I understand where you're coming from, you signed to polygamy, but not polyandry. Well, like I said, I'm an African man. So, um, full-blooded, I believe in our customs, I believe in our tradition. So, what I came to meet, what I came to, I know, I saw my people do, if the opportunity comes for me to do the same, and I think I, I have that strength, I have that um, financial muscle to do it. Why not? It's, it's not really a big deal. It's not really a big deal at all. all right. It will only be a big deal if the woman wants to do second husband. And when that's, if, if it happens that way, she would have to bring the said man to me, her first husband. So the second man will pay the bride price to me because I had already paid the first bride price for her. Okay, so if you introduce a new woman, are you, you going to compensate I her? I am going to pay for her bride price at her family's house and not my first wife's house. Okay. New boy's uh, submission is up for debate, but then Sissy. Mm. With women, they always say sometimes you've been taken for a ride. Mm -hmm. You meet a guy, he's not really established, but or don't he, you understand yeah. him. Let's mm -hmm. start a life together. You help him build his brand, his company, whatever it is, whilst you're also doing same to yourself. It's 50-50. And then at the end of the day, when things are smooth, now you have a name. Everything is, you know, up there. Mm. We're living the best life. Then you want to introduce another woman. With a woman who finds herself in, I would say, such an un unfortunate situation, mm. how can the man start the discussion and what should be the, the precaution he should take? Let's just say in cases like that, because we end up always feeling broken hearted. It's like, yeah. how can you do that to me? It, it, it's sad because at the end of the day, when you were broke and I was helping you build yourself, in a sense, I'm sure that's what, you know, um, mm -hmm. I think that actress and that whole topic we, you yeah. know, we, we, we're relating to was about. Did you talk about having a second wife at that time when you were broke and didn't have anything? You see, that's what I'm saying. If you're going to go, it's, it's about communication and it's about keeping yourself and the relationship informed. Going into relationships, we've talked about this before where I've said that, you know, in a relationship or going into a relationship, you need to talk about your financials, you need to talk about where you want the relationship to go, how it's going, all of these kind of things. If it wasn't introduced in the beginning, I don't see, you know, you have to ask the person's opinion or even mm -hmm. when you're dating, it should be a question that you ask in your dating st um, stages that, you know, what do you think about, you know, second wives and what do you think about this? You can't just spring it up on somebody and be like, well, well, you know, I know you helped me. We'll build up a home. We got loads of money now, which you held the thought fought whilst I was doing whatever I needed to. Okay, now I'm just going to add another person to come and spend our money um, <coughs> without contributing to the hardship that you've gone through. This is on the woman's back. Now some woman is going to be now coming to spend the money that she did not earn. Where was she? Where was she? Why wasn't she, you know, if you're gonna do second wife, let her come in, let's all be here. Let's all work hard. Let's all build this brand together. You can't bring somebody in to come and spend money that I have built. And even in the cases that, you know, women, when sometimes we, we get pregnant, sometimes yeah. you have to put career and stuff like that on exactly. hold. Mm -hmm. Be at home, a stay at home mom for some time mm -hmm. and make sure the kids are okay, take mm -hmm. care of them. Yeah. So imagine, Myself, for instance, I put my job on hold and all yeah. that. And then later on, you come tell me such a thing. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to react. But Caleb, in such a situation, <laughs> what are the steps that a man should take so that the woman does not feel cheated, yes. 
feel yes. useless and all that because you are saying that it is kind of normal. Okay. So how can you how handle it? How is it normal? It? Since Hola. when is it normal? Side well, chick has never been normal. It's me. No. It's me. No, no, no. no, no our forefathers me. and our grandfathers uh -huh. used to have it, but uh -huh. they, it was something that they, nobody talked about. If you have a child outside of your marriage, mm -hmm. you used to call it a bastard child. And that child was always a bastard child, excuse my French, or whatever it is. Yeah. And it is never, you know, and some families have it now where, you know, their fathers are dead and whatever, and the children are not really accepted into the <coughs> first family, as mm -hmm. you call them. We call them the first family. Mm -hmm. So when our grandfathers did it, it was never really accepted. It was known to be, but it wasn't normal. But then now mm -hmm. in the case, when they go outside the marriage to impregnate another, okay, it's like normal, I'm taking responsibility as they say. So I'm bringing in the woman, I'm going to marry her. So that in, Into which room? Listen. Into whose room? <laughs> That's Listen. the question. Uh, you see, answer I, the question. I, 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 I actually have a problem with mm. the way both of you have actually made it look like um, you make him, you have nothing, you helped him build Please, up. most of the time you have nothing. How is that possible? Must you always have it How? all. Women too do Listen, have... So, so uh -huh. if, if you say you helped him build up, what did you do? Wow. Jeez, man, me wow. boy, come on. Wow. Come on. Okay, Paula, I'll give you, you an example, right? I'll uh -huh. give you an example of, you know, uh, a family member that I know when and this is the olden the mm. olden times mm. so um you know the man was you know it was agreed that you know what he needs to go to university to get his um you know his bar mm -hmm. he was um, doing a, a law oh, degree right. and all of those stuff while she works to take care of both of them right so she got a job and she was working and then she paid his tuition and all everything that he needs to get mm -hmm. to Cushion get his um, law degree he got his law degree then he went to the bar and all of that kind of stuff and then qualified to be a lawyer and everything else at that point i have helped you to get to where you need to get to mm -hmm. has she not mm -hmm. so now if you now introduce and this same person this same man now gets a side chick and now gets another family leaving this woman to now be you know now she has her children and everything else and she's helped you pretty much get establish yourself is that listen. not help is, is, that not, men, is that not helping no listen, men listen. when even they take care of you in mm -hmm. university and mm -hmm. then you're like i don't want the relationship you guys they, always they say and i'm not sure yeah so why, so why, why is it different feel, yes listen. why is it different i'm not happy with the way <laughs> Both of you have made it look like, oh, then when you meet the guy, he has nothing. You did this. Let's to say help. you had money. I'm Let's say you had your money. Uh -huh. So if I had my money mm -hmm. and I see you and I marry you, yeah. And tomorrow I want to marry another. What is the big deal? Did you, you sign up me? to a polygamous marriage initially, or you just have a taste, so you want to satisfy it? Am I not in that position to change my mind as and when I want to? Ah. <laughs> What? No. What so the woman, are, so we cannot is, change our mind. That's what I'm saying, that you're the woman. Mm -hmm. Along the line in the marriage, when you want to marry a second husband, are you going to take the, the man to your family or to me? Or come and introduce the man to Why me? Why should they come to you? Because I am your husband. Okay. No, so, but you're the woman you're not bringing to your no, wife. Listen, listen. Okay, Caleb, now, you know, you see how we are reacting. Mm -hmm. For a man who found himself in such situation, how best can you calm the woman? Listen, so, 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 so can you give us uh -huh. that reason. Like, I don't know I, I, how I best, best you can. Yeah. See, the, the best the man can do, mm -hmm. if that zeal of you getting another wife comes up, mm -hmm. it is only proper you will discuss with your wife, your first wife. Okay. But you and I know that when you tell your first wife, she won't agree. Yes. Good. So, so you're doing no, it no, no, against no, 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 listen. So, at least make the move. Wow. If you make the move and she doesn't agree, of course you are the man of the house. You have every right. Okay. If oh, Listen, if only you are financially sound, okay. that is one caveat we should look at. Okay. We shouldn't make it look like, oh, because the zeal is there or you want to have another woman, you can just get up and go and ma marry anybody just like that. So you, it will be more like a burden on the first wife. No. If the financial means is there, make it open. Speak to the woman. If she agrees, praise God. If, if she doesn't agree and you still want to go ahead, look, come on. All we, right. we, we are so in the 21st why century. is that? Okay, you are, ah, he has the audacity to say 21st yeah. century. Okay. okay, so if you are in the 21st century, why can't the woman also 
Do no, 21st because century um, things. 21st Good. century women. Good. Fine. Uh -huh. I'm yes. I come into your home to marry you, right? Yes. I go through every tradition or every custom that your family requires of me yeah. to get you as my wife. Exactly, mm. right? Good. Don't you think if you want to do another man, yeah. eh, me, your husband, you should at least put me in a note first. Yes, yes, of course. Good. That's we what will. I'm Fine. Uh -huh. But this is the case that I have already paid for your bride price. So what happens to the Bride price I've paid. What happened to it? I'll give it, it back is, to you. Do you, do you want it? Do you, do do you want the, the bride yes. price? Am I still not How much wife? is the yes. bride so price? The bride in price the way? still stands because I'm still your wife. Yes. I, but I'm bringing another husband who's also going to pay my bride price because at the end of the day, he too, he's coming to be my husband. So are you, I'm still your wife. So the bride price still stands. Yes, sir. Are you going to be my wife under my roof? Or you're going to be my wife in another man's room. Just as you guys spend time here, spend time there. Ah. We can do it very, no. very nicely. No. Listen, I could go to the listen. saloon. I could change my hair for you. You yes. want braids? We Great. can get braids. The second husband, you want weave? I'm going to wear 17 inches, 30 inches. I'll do it for you. But knee boy. You see? Wait, uh, uh, African <laughs> men naturally polygamous. Oh, yes. Why? Ah, come on. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not even up. So no, there's, no, no, no. there's, there's, there's no. none of y'all that's not... <laughs> Oh. Well, you see, this is, like I told you earlier, this is Africa. Do you understand? This is Af you see, some no, of these things shouldn't surprise you. It shouldn't no. surprise you. No, well, okay, wait. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm going to be very honest. I cannot imagine the guy I'm marrying with him not ever mentioning anything that got to do with polygamy. Yeah. We, we are into the marriage, maybe mm -hmm. five then, years into it. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then, then now he's telling me. He's got taste for another woman, so he wants to bring. I'm like, why didn't you? S I, I didn't sign up for that because yeah. if initially I'm a single woman and uh -huh. then I meet a man and I think I like him and he's already got a wife and I'm thinking, okay, am I ready to be his second wife? That is different. But if I have signed up to a monogamous marriage and yeah. then along the line you're trying to introduce polygamy to me, I will not take it under right. no circumstance. Yeah. And besides, thank God for court marriages. You are, you are. You yeah, see, thank God for court I, marriages. I, 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 I think <laughs> we will knew you there. No, 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 no. We will knew oh, you oh, there. Yeah. Well, listen, I, I, I think if if that is where mm -hmm. we would want to go, I'm yeah. sure at the end of the day, it is you women who will lose this. How? Yeah. How? You will lose it. How? How? Listen, it be every <laughs> man we won't go court go sign marriage. Oh, you don't know. They will not do it. Exactly. Okay. No, those men are naturally. That, that's what they, they want. The police. So they, they, you know it. You no. know it from oh, the listen. start. He but won't show. You, he won't show any signs of it from start. Mm. Just being in the house, you, you you can put pressure on him to go and and go to the court to, to sign. And he won't do it. After all, he has married you. Okay. Do you understand? Now, me? ladies, you heard what Nee Boy said. Please opt for it from the beginning. Yes. Because if you if you do the customary and they. If you lose guys, they'll no, show so you I, pepper. I keep hearing that, oh, men will show you. What men will do stay women your... do? Women. We can show you too, we too but we, you. we will go for a quick break. When we come back, Moons and Cuddles continues. <laughs> mm, right there. and cardos or Ghana web tv as i stated earlier we're discussing or we're trying to understand if if polygamy can cure the whole introduction of side chicks and all the things that come with it and the conversation is already heated yeah yeah kelly was letting us know how the men think from a man's perspective and then sissy and i mm. are trying to grill him but you know he always comes back stronger with his with a submission, but at I the see. end of the day, we're gonna get. Um, I just can't wait for the final part. If you hmm. get to a point where everybody will be satisfied, but then one question that really is on my mind: Why is it that in our part of the world, mm -hmm. men cannot stand polyandry? Like it's like it's a no-no. Don't even mention it. 
Why? Because they are cake. Why? Why <laughs> should it happen in the first place? Why? Why should it happen? But you know it happens in some part of the world. No, but I mean... But it's listen, not really common, yeah, but then it happens. Yeah, it's not happening yeah. and it's welcomed and it's normal. Yeah. If you say some As parts say. of the world... Yeah. I have been, been in Ghana for like three decades. Mm -hmm. Wherever I've traveled to, I haven't spent more than a month. I go there and I come back. So, what I believe in as an African still lives in me wherever I go. And what I believe in doesn't expose me to that. Okay. So, I would be happy if you would limit the conversation to where you and I we find ourselves. Because if you go outside our, our borders, somewhere in Europe and America, these things, I'm sure it's, it's open there and it's being done. Mm. But here in Ghana... But I beg to differ. In Ghana, we always say we are against same-sex marriage, gays and all that. But then there are the... Minor, the like, yeah, uh -huh. there, there is a see, we, community, uh -huh. so you cannot, mm -hmm. yeah. Right and, now, and what's things the are happening. What's the response? With LGBT, we know that they exactly. don't even want to hear about exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, but in, then in, if, in, if, in, if we talk about our customs, forward, our customs is key. They are very key, and we can't run away from it. At the end of the day, we have to protect it. Reason, conversations like LGBT or whatever, whatever. Anytime it comes up into the main light, mm -hmm. people have strong uh, uh, way. Against, and you cannot blame them. Yeah. We are Africans. But Caleb, you just said 21st century. Are we still going to... You want to move on into... You know, you're saying that within Africa. I don't think we can stay within. Because right now, if the we world. look at our young people and everything, uh -huh. people are more sexualized. People are more, you know, now oh. being... Uh, but you think we are not wearing kaba and slit anymore. We are now, you know, having... It's good to have you, the conversation. You are wearing jeans and hair. Yes. I'm wearing a kaftan. More African prints. No, See, not, not, every man is, is. not every man is wearing kaftan. We are moving forward. Uh -huh. we, are, we are blending and Cultures now ob and absorbing then. the Western world a little bit. I am not saying you shouldn't. And so, okay. But I'm saying at the end of the day, ours should always be supreme. No, it can't be. It has How to be. are you going to marry these 21st century girls that are now out here, you know, who are very comfortable in their sexuality and comfortable in their bodies and everything, uh -huh. and now you want to come and bring your old fashion? It is. Uh, uh, you see it as old this. fashion? Yes, it is. You it, sure? it, it, is not, it is not something that has evolved, and you have to evolve. So now you are saying. 21st century. Why should that not blend into 21st? That only that one should stay, but everything else yeah, should not being blend. Fair. No, 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 no. Listen to me. I'm not saying. Uh, listen. <laughs> okay. What I'm trying to tell you. Make is, us understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Make us. Let me hear. Once we are in the 21st century, yeah, mm -hmm. we've grown. Yes. We've read. Yes. We've learnt. Yes. You understand me? Mm -hmm. In all these things we've done, mm -hmm. you and I. We know where we come from. Mm -hmm. We cannot carry our tradition, whatever, and throw it away because we, we think we've read. We're westernized. That's it. Okay. We, you, you read, but make sure you modify it into what yes. you know already or, or whatever your, your, your culture. But you your, are trying to say that side chick is, a, is, is part of our custom. Oh, that's what you are saying. Are you telling me you don't know this? No, but it's, you should, it's not part of our no, custom. It's but, something that has been taboo. Now, let, let, let me go away. Ah, no, Caleb, no, no, Caleb no, no. see, let, let, let me come in. One thing that we usually get it wrong is that, you know, marriage is an institution, it got rules, mm -hmm. right? We've normalized cheating. Yes. Now, we, uh, a man takes home a woman, doesn't fear God, takes the vow, I yes. promise to whatever, yes. whatever. Yes. Yes. Women cheat then, to other one. Women cheat and then to... We, yes. 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 Women yes. Men yes. cheat. Uh, men mm. cheat. Maybe we may even do it better, but that's Thank another... You. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's another conversation. But then, it has become normal. Because even if a, a woman, you are going to marriage, sometimes it's really appalling that family will advise you, oh, if in case your, had, uh, your, uh, j your husband just does something, just cheats and then, okay. you know, try and come because mm -hmm. it rains everywhere. With you going to a marriage with such mentality, it, it, it's, it's just too much. I'm a whole human. I also got feelings. Yeah. So we shouldn't normalize cheating. Yes. And then you see it as a big deal, something you can't even imagine when a woman cheats. But when a man cheats, it's, it's let's okay. cover it and, you know, it's Paula. nothing. Paula, this is what... what? What is good for the and no. what is that saying? Good, what is good, good for, for the, the gun? Is <laughs> the gun that is good for the goose? No. We, Whatever you said some few seconds yes, ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. th this is what our mothers, our grandmothers, they've done. Listen. 
When, when, no, what when do we want, want to do? No, I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm, against I'm, what your grandfathers I'm, do, I'm, what I'm, do you want to do? Let's, 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 let's be the change we no, want no, to let's, see. Listen, I'm saying that. Yeah. Do you know there is no pamphlet for, for marriage? M most of us, when we want to get married, then we we'll go and sit in some pastor's office. They say they, they are doing counseling. Is yeah. the Bible a pamphlet for marriage? It is. Yes. Hey. Oh, Caleb, uh, come on. Bible. Does it not say treat your wife uh, uh, well this, this, this? Uh -huh. As the church, just as Christ loved not... the church, uh -huh. you should love your wife. Ah, wife, so, submit to your so, husband. Thank you. <laughs> so if, if I love my wife, uh -huh. eventually I want to pick another wife. What's the big deal? The Bible, is, is the Bible against it? No, we are not against... See, that, that's the thing. What I'm saying is... Yeah. I'm saying... If you go into the Bible, uh -huh. men always use that, like, where in the Bible? Bible Show me say, where exactly. is it that we cannot take. Yeah, we understand that. But then if you sign up to, like, the court marriage is that one, There's you should no respect it. There's no court marriage in the Bible. This court court thing, you put it oh, aside. Do you know? How do you know? Why know? should we put it aside? Yeah. See, you're interpreting the Bible when it's good Have for you. We, yeah, that's it. And that's then what then when it's not doing. good for you, you're like, oh, it's not in the Bible. Uh, I'm saying. How do you know? Were you there? Where? where? Were you there? <laughs> Did they not have systems and, 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 and things? So why 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 wouldn't a cause marriage be which, existent in those which times? Which system made Solomon marry those women? Which system? Jesus. Which system? Oh boy. Look, the same Bible we are even discussing. Oh, boy. Was it Abraham or who? I think it's Abraham. Sarah. Married, exactly. uh, what? Okay. So. Why are you making it look like, oh, when you marry a second wife, so that's who you're being for. You know, you guys want to jump for the Bible because the Bible says, hey, but anything else, no, you don't want to jump for anything the Bible. Anything else like what? Anything else. Bring up any, <laughs> anything else. Men would, anything else would, when it comes to having multiple women, hey, didn't this person do that? Paula, yes. what I'm trying to tell you is, mm -hmm. this counselors will go for marriage, nothing. The first person to counsel you go into your marriage is your parents. So if your mother tells you that, look, when you are going to marriage and your husband does this, does this, your mother knows what she had gone through mm -hmm. or she had experienced. Because she's also sharing it with you. But why has your mother stayed in marriage 10, 20, 30 years? And, and you will go in and send this morning then you are screaming. So you would you sign up for a counseling before your marriage? I'm not sure. I would want to speak to my, my parents Paula. more. Mm. In fact, I, I would intend to use my wife's parents too. Okay. As counselors, then go and sit in front of a pastor to counsel. Uh, even if I think that is if, a difference. If, uh, even even the person is a pastor, yeah, the person should have between twenty years experience. Experience, yeah. yeah. That's even fair enough. That is a, a different topic. When you say our mothers, Edward, you have to understand that our mothers went through a lot of trauma. Every and they had to enjoy it. Some, some enjoy it. Don't, don't, don't make it look like no, no, we, we are not we saying, are oh, no, they do not all suffer, of course. We are yes. talking about yes. the ones, the, you know, the ones that were introduced, uh, side chicks and all of these people were introduced into their marriage. All of these women were introduced to trauma. They have a lot of um, uh, anger. That they had to they deal have a with. Lot of, uh, you know, when you speak to some women, oh, you know, they have a lot of regret and a lot of pain that they went through. This is a very painful, and I think we are ignoring the emotional and mental health side of it. Thank you, Cece. Bringing another woman into a marriage is very emotionally catastrophic for a woman. Draining. You cannot even, like, you start wondering, where did I yes, go? Or what, exactly. what could I have done better? That but is, it's no fault of your work. You it's the man who just wants to satisfy. You didn't do anything wrong. Matters don't change. No, Times if you love changes. someone, see, let me tell you exactly. something. You know, sometimes people do cheat. They, they, it's like it's like it's chronic. But then, for a man who loves the woman, you always have the sense: what if she finds out? I know she's not going to like it. Yeah. She's going to be heartbroken and all that. Sometimes you should have feelings. How would the other person feel? feel. It's not all yeah. about you. Trust me, married women sometimes meet someone who is more attractive. Maybe an ex was sexually good. Yeah. But then you're thinking, what if my, my husband, husband finds exactly. out I defy? So all these it. things should help you. But you will talk about that later. Let's move on to the conversation. We can go back and forth with it. But then you doing the watching, you decide. We can give our submission. By the end of the day, it's just to guide you. You get what I'm saying? All right. Now, I've heard stories where married men say, it kind of looks like single women are attracted to them. And then you ask these girls, you know this man is married. Why are you following him? He's like, oh, married men are responsible. I'm like, sis. Yeah. Why is that so? And then even for women who are open to being first, a second wives, third wives, whatsoever. But you let, let me start from this point. Why are women attracted to married men? How? 
it's just a response. I've, I've heard this before. Mm -hmm. That a, a, a side chick will say that, oh, it's because, you know, they look at what the husband is doing for the wife and they're like, oh, you know, he's responsible. He's looking after her. Oh, see, he bought her a car. Oh, see this. Oh, see that. So in a sense, they just want what the wife has. It's enjoying. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. And they just see them as more. But in a, when you look at it, this is not a responsible man. Because this is a man that's putting his whole family, his whole lifestyle, everything in jeopardy. He's in jeopardy of losing this because he hasn't discussed with his wife if it is okay to be having a side chick or to be having another woman or whatever it is. And in the case where this woman finds out, he could lose his whole family. How exactly. is that a responsible man? Now, Ni, mm -hmm. why do you think single ladies we single ladies are attracted to married men why do we sometimes not all the case i must mm -hmm. say not all of at, us at, do that at this point i would be happy if we even change seats i move here you move there <laughs> you're a single lady you should be telling me why you people love married men you should be telling me i don't do married men so uh -huh. i cannot really you don't share. do married men. No, no i don't do you married don't men. have friends who do married men they do uh, they and do. what do they tell you Usually, sometimes the, the whole sponsorship thing with them, yes, they know that, that um, you know, maybe you're satisfied mm -hmm. their sexual, mm -hmm. you just got wild sex. So then they just want to spoil you and all that. It's just yeah. like, okay, they're just yeah. spoiling you, stuff like that. So that is why they move to them. Now we need Sky and we'll be so, moving to do you. Do you know that, eh? Do you know that takes some kind of financial burden off the said girl's parents? Do you know? All right, oh, Jeannie God. boy, come uh -uh. on. Uh -uh. Oh, goodness. Uh -uh. Hola. It know. is true, <laughs> but then that shouldn't be a reason why you're well, cheating exactly, on a that woman. Shouldn't be the reason why you jump for another married. Listen, I've been married, and I've always vowed. And obviously, I'm not married now, but I would never, being a wife, I would never be a married man's side chick. I wouldn't do that because I've played. I've not, I mean, You've I been there before. So I've been the wife, mm -hmm. so I know how it feels. Uh -huh. So I wouldn't want to do that to another woman, at all, ever. Mm -hmm. What are you doing to another woman? You're destroying the her. Woman, her. Listen, the woman doesn't know about you, does she? I know about me. <laughs> huh? That's enough for my conscience. <laughs> ah, the woman is sitting somewhere. The woman, she doesn't know you. It, uh -huh. is, it is the man you are m m m dealing with. So what's the... So the man should play their cards well and never get caught. Ah, why should you even go for a side chick, chick and allow yourself to be caught? Why would you do that? The, which means you're not smart. Hmm. Tell us what a smart man would do. Ah. <laughs> Please, ex 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 let, us let us know. Explain let us yourself. see the, the smart ones. Listen. So we have to up our game or just leave you to do whatever you want to do? You want to up your game in, in terms of getting a married man? No, come no. on. I told you initially that I don't do the married men. No, but, I'm, but I mean, on. like any smart guy, who yes. is married? Yes. How do you not get caught? Because oh, you always there, get there are so caught. many ways. You, so just set rules and regulations for your no, you side chick. No, you Oh, the side chick. Oh, no, no, no. Side it chick. Work. See, now the side chick, they, they, they know role play. Like, it works. they know their position. It they works. see Madame is coming. Hey. Uh, ah, now they've up the, so see, now their their thing is serious so because she knows what she's getting from, from you, so and then she, she's not willing to even create problems between you and your wife. They are for the weekends. The main chick is for weekdays. So weekends, master must go for hey, uh, master pa. yes a <laughs> conference somewhere, <laughs> two three days conference. So suppose one weekend he's going with the main chick. What happens? Why is the main chick going for the? I'm conference? your wife. Ah, ah. Eh? Say it again. I'm your wife. What do you mean? Why am I going for weekend? We are no. going for weekend. So if if you are going for the weekends, who should stay home and take care of the kids? You have people to do that. People who. It's a wife made for test to stay no, away. Listen. You see, this is why it's not even good to get married. No. People, <laughs> let's not even do it. Listen. Because, this is, because as soon it, as you get married... If you live your whole life and then you're thinking that... Jeez, oh, I, I had a life. Oh, no, nobody no, no, to come and test me. Thank you. Me, I had a life. You don't go for this conference every weekend, do you? You don't. So the weekend that you're going, I'm coming. Why? Because you, it's a hotel. Who the hell doesn't want to stay in a hotel? I'm coming to stay in a hotel. So with you. And you are my husband, no, so but, but, I'm but, but, coming but, but, with but, you. But what was so extraordinary? You stay in a hotel. Ah, so what's the whole extraordinary? But why, why would you, you take the side chain? Eh? 
Why would you want to take the side chick and not your wife? Where did ah. she go wrong? Oh, listen, listen. Ah, this is yeah, sometimes yeah. When, when you go for this trip, sometimes you, you need fresh air. You understand? So you can get fresh air with me <laughs> because I'm living in the same debt as you. So we both need fresh, fresh air. Fresh air. Ah. Whilst you're looking for fresh air, get your wife out of fresh air. So whilst you're away, can I have my fresh air come to see me in our home? Would that be in fair? Our home? Yes. Where else am I okay, going to Okay, no, if, if you, you don't subscribe to it, home. can I get fresh air outside the home? Oh, you yeah. can do it, but make sure I don't catch you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you know, good. men are always pain. Like, a man cannot stand or even think that another mm -hmm. woman had sexual intercourse with the wife or a partner. Mm -hmm. But then for you, we should normalize we should, it yes, and accept it. it yeah. yeah, you have to. Me too, I can't think of it. I don't want to think of my husband being pleasured by some other woman it is it is something that is like oh my god like oh. something that is mine you can't somebody can't come and just take it no and it. but you see no you you've been doing one style for a very long time Sometimes you need How to do go you know? and upgrade your style outside there come. see it depends oh. on the women you find as you say 21st yes. century women we, we are not boring you're not boring we are no. not boring eh. look for the right ones i must say anyway eh. on the back of we not being boring I would love to take a quick break. When we come back, Mons and Cuddles with Cecilia and Caleb continues. Mm, right there. You're welcome back to Mons and Cuddles on Ghana Web TV. This has actually been one of my most interactive, interesting, like controversial <laughs> discussion I've ever had. All thanks to Kelly Mibo and Cecilia. I must say, this conversation, as I said today, was going to be an eye opener, and really it is. Now we've gotten to the fun part. Mm -hmm. Is the mystery box? I've Ooh. got some questions in here. Ooh. Right, very interesting, like hot ones, of course, because it comes with the discussion. So if you pick it, you give us honest answer, and then if you pick the sheet word just a blank sheet, you get to ask me any question because this is like when you go on the show, it's just the whole yeah. thing bombarding you with questions. So I'm going to start with Caleb. Why are you starting with me? Because Cause you're a darling boy who is controversial. <laughs> Auntie Arabe, bro. Arabe, bro. Arabe, bro. Come on. Okay. Should I give it to you? Also? Yeah, maybe. Let me just read it out to you. Thank you. Gagagang, gang. Would you leave your, this case, your wife of five years if you found out they had a side boy? Would I leave her? Yeah, mm -hmm. or call for divorce? Mm. Yes, I will. Uh-uh. See this one. Yes, I will. Why? I have been cheated upon for five years. Mm-hmm. So, no, she didn't say for five years. She said, Would you leave your wife you, ho you have been with for five years mm -hmm. if you found out maybe she had a side boy for like maybe a couple months? A couple or of months, oh, yeah, or yeah. maybe even years, yeah. like whatever. Yes. Okay, whatever. Even if it's for a day, yes. She has uh, uh, I was going to ask what if a table turns, but I think we know the answer. Table yeah. turns. The marriage continues, exactly. right? Exactly, exactly. Okay, Sissy. Yes. Okay, okay. please hand it. <laughs> Caleb, just obey Jawa. We are now after all the years. Kepun, Kepan, Tata Wale, Tata Wale, Beko, Beko. Okay, I hope it's a good match. Thanks. I hope so. Okay. Ha! Da 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 da. Wife to a poor man. Seventh wife to a rich man, which will you choose? Uh, <laughs> 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 this one, this one. <laughs> okay, well, I have an answer for okay. you, mm. right? So, again, 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 I don't do second place. I don't do third place. I don't do fourth place. I don't do fifth place. I don't do sixth or seventh place. So I'm gonna take that broke guy and be with him so long as I can be first. This one, this one, yeah. <laughs> this one, yeah. You, you, you and I know. You. Ah. Ah, but Do you know? Listen, that broke guy, I can build him. You can build him. Yes, I have done it before. 
tried and tested, I will build him. He will be a rich guy. He's not going to be broke for long. All right. I know but most I will not be anybody's seventh. Seventh wife. Ah, huh. Because of seventh. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey. Seven. Stop. <laughs> when everything seven is to, the world's provided. richest man was seven. Will you consider the world's richest man? The world's richest, richest man. man. Seven. Would you? What conditions are coming Be with that? Be <laughs> Okay. Be yeah. Oh, yeah. No. What conditions are coming with that? How Listen. often am I seeing you? That's the problem. Because it's seven. That means like you are in queue, long queue. I'm just there. If he's just giving me my money and I don't have to see him, then cool. I don't want to even know him. I don't, even want, don't even come. Like, bruh, I'm good without your, you. Your, your, your husband. No, don't come. What are you coming for? For what? If you're coming like once every six months, great. Stay home. Great. Like once every six you months. You come every six months, but have sex, so long as you're sending me my out. money every no, month. Wait, wait, wait. Like, you come after six months, have sex, make you a baby, then you make go. Make you a baby. Ah. How am I having your children? Hey, seventh. Meme sounds so more. Hey, hey. Ah, what but all those don't want that come. Usually, if I haven't had they, children already. If I've got children already, I wouldn't. If I haven't, I mean, okay, I mean, I guess 50 Cent said it, you know, have a baby by me, be a millionaire. Okay. I mean, that for, it's for up the for next a conversation years, or consideration. I'll be paid, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> Zimbabwe. <laughs> you said, no, what, uh, but ah, uh, seventh, you want me to be in love with you. Why? No, no. What kind of love? What kind of love? Seven, at, at this I point, be... what, what are you looking for, love? Exactly. Maybe you I are wild head, by her. Head over heels, love. Seventh is not head over heels. Love. Seventh is not Cinderella, love. It's seventh but, but, is somebody but, 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 that. It is. Oh no, you should be the man. Passing through, eh? Yes, you are passing. Drive. This is a drive by. <laughs> Some hair boo. Bye. Oh. It's a drive by. No, okay. is drive by. No, like, like, no, okay. no I'm, unless I want, then oh, no. But to me, I'll take it, I'll travel, I'll go around, I'll get my side, nigga, <laughs> and me and him will be chilling <laughs> on your money. Then, then, ah. then. No, you, you see how, you see how, no, yeah, anybody is coming no, at you no, no, because no, no, listen, you if, are trying if, to be a sensitive no, person. No, listen, if, 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 if that, that's what you are saying, <laughs> then you, you'd have to be in your father's house. But, yes. You don't okay, care. Seventh wife, seventh. One, two, three, four, five. I see seven. Seven. What am I doing for you? What, what, do you, what, do you, what do you want? Sex. Enjoyment. Okay, you're coming. Okay. You're enjoying it. Yes. Bye. You make babies for me. How? Okay. How? So this one, this one ah. can go on and on and on. <laughs> but then, on the back of making babies, Caleb, you are married. And you're, you're in a committed re relationship. Monogamous. Mm -hmm. Something happened. Of course, you had sex with another woman. And then now, this psychic got a child for you. How are you going to start the conversation with her? Oh, you want to keep it secret, like yeah. forever. When you die and then they come, okay, Ooh. you're claiming mm. properties and all that. So for a man who is in that fix. Okay, you see, mm -hmm. I think every man knows his wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how she would react to news like this. Like this. Mm -mm. I, I beg to differ. Oh. Men think they know their wives and how they will react uh -huh. to it. Most of the time, and from experience, the way you think the wife oh, may yeah. react uh -huh. is never the way she reacts. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, I'm very sound and sure that 80% of men would think that what they thought their wives would do, their wives didn't do. Oh, I am, I, I'm saying this based on experience too. Okay. okay. Yes. So I'm okay. saying, mm -hmm. since you know your wife mm. and how she will react to certain things, it would, that should be enough reason for you to decide to tell her or not. Right. <laughs> because you telling her can increase her BP. BP? I feel who dream me BP? Yeah, Only the old rain and now one dream BP no. Right. <laughs> yes, yeah, you telling yeah, your, your today, first wife today. can increase her BP. <laughs> In fact, the BP can shoot in a very high, you know, commotion everywhere. So, mm. I'd rather advise mm -hmm. you lay low, mm. Okay. keep it on the low, mm. make sure you go and do whatever you have to do at the other girl's <gasps> house. In secret? Low key. Yes. yes. <gasps> and you see, no, no, no. You are not doing it for the rest of your life, but eventually it will come out. But for the time being, manage it in a way that your wife wouldn't hear instantly. Ooh. You know? Okay. Okay, Kelly, I think I will agree with you. On the back that men sometimes find out, yes, that the child that they are having 
in it's their home, yes. it's not yes. <laughs> Serve them right. So it, me, it means it's, it's, right. it's cool, right? <laughs> From what you are saying, that, you know, years later. So when we bring it to that scenario mm -hmm. where we also give you a child that is not uh -huh. yours, you why see? should we wait to, why should we wait. tell why you? Should we when the baby you? is 20 years or never. Exactly. Wait, you see, because of what we've, we've seen or we've heard in the news like some months ago, right now, DNA can't make like this bottle, like this glass of the glass of uh, juice. Right now, DNA, right now, everybody can do DNA, DNA at, at any time. Mm -hmm. So, even if the person is your first wife, once the baby come, no, look sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. You come to like the baby drop as well. Eh? I come to insult your wife oh, as well. What is insulting about? It's insulting. It? Why, if she is in her, she is in her. A dedicated marriage to you, uh -huh. she feels that she's dedicated. I think to no, us, but this is some is men have been women have shown men red colors. It's good because they too, it's good, doing their <laughs> it's good. Side check, side yeah. check is good. No, but then, but but that, but that is one of it's the karma. most painful experience a man will go through taking care of a child. That is not his. That is not <laughs> yours. Like, I can't even close my eyes. I, I don't even imagine or wish that for my worst enemy mm -hmm. because the bond. You know, God. A child is a child, whether it's yours or not. If you have a bond with it, you have a bond. <laughs> what did I pass today? Oh my yes, God! Yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, some yes. wound. Please, 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 Because at the end of the day, if you are bonded with the child, you are bonded with the child, whether it's yours or it's not yours. So knowing, oh, so hold on, you are bonding with oh, the child. But that's a lot here. Just because you know it's not your child, now you won't bond with the child again. No, some men will, will not. The, oh. It stops there. That's hey. why we won't tell you. It could see my eye top. Oh. Ah, why? Seriously. But the, the, you are bonding with the child. The child is already <laughs> yours. Why would knowing that it's not yours or yours have any implications to why you should not bond with the child? Listen. You're already bonded. The mere fact that I know this kid is mine naturally brings the bond. But after, after some, some time and I, I get to know this is not mine. Ah, a bond is built over time. Yeah. No, a bond is built over time. If a man would build a bond with a child, uh -huh. let's say for five or even ten years, uh -huh. the child is now ten years, knows you as their father, mm -hmm. you've built a bond and everything, and now you found out that the child is not yours, mm -hmm. and now you are saying it tear your eye, then you don't, you don't love the child. Okay, so Sissy, let me ask you. So the question is that if a man who finds himself in such situation, even though you are hurt, you feel betrayed, mm -hmm. you should not take it on to that child. No, you shouldn't. So you, you should see, continue with the pain of school fees continue and all with that. The child because the wait, bond wait, has been built for you something. Pay school fees. Should you still yes. take responsibility? It's still your child. Yeah. It's still a bond that you built with the child. Why not? Why would you say that now you are not going to be responsible for the child? A child that has been sitting on your leg and they've been playing with you and all of that. To that child, you are still daddy. Regardless whether, you know, so I think it's very heartless if you say that now. Heartless? Yes, it's heartless because you've built, it's a relationship. It's like building a relationship. It, it wasn't just like today and tomorrow. No, you've built a relationship with this child. So saying? it shouldn't just disappear. That's like men that come into um, already established, you know, families. You know, a, a woman who's already got kids and whatever. And he starts building a relationship with the child. Mm -hmm. He's not going to just happen. He's built a bond with That's the child. That's different. That's different. I'm saying, I know you already have a child. Yeah. So when I come in and I know I'm coming in for you, yes, if I love you, I should love your child. Mm -hmm. it, it comes naturally. In, in fact, it's part of the package. Yeah. So that is fine. But I will take care of somebody, like a child I know is mine. It is yours. You have been fending and bending <laughs> for it. it. It's not it his. It's it his. is not his. It's Where his. is it? Where? Oh, <laughs> I'm going to it to them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it, it, this conversation or this reaction comes because of the years of yes. men taking advantage of women and then you are just there and then they just bring a no, child but to you. Why do you always say men take advantage of women? Don't you have women who take advantage of men? No, but this, no, men have taken advantage of me, women far me boy, longer me boy, than see, women have taken see, advantage of men. Me boy, see, with, the, with the examples that you are giving, if ah. you are being real, one more you are saying that hey, you can have a side chick and all yeah. that is normal, who is taking advantage of who? Let's be real here. Who is taking? Well, listen. Who is at the receiving listen, end? You taking a second wife doesn't mean you are taking advantage of, of your wife, first wife. Uh, how, how is that? It is not taking advantage. Uh, when you all agree, when I know what I'm signing up yes. to. Now that brings me to my question. If, you, if, if you're dating a man who is future rich, mm. like, you know, he's got money and all that, 
should you be open? Like, should it be at the back of your mind that one time he's going to bring up that conversation or he's going to bring in another child? Because now it has become like, you know, this married man, sometimes they are trying to be decent and stay with the family. But, but these girls, knowing what they have, yeah. they're just looking for one opportunity, knew you. I'm pregnant for you. <laughs> so in a, in such a woman, should you have it at the back of my mind, it's going to happen, which I don't Maybe want. I don't African even want to close man. my eyes I and imagine. Or you should man. trust your man that mm -hmm. even with all the money and all the things he's got, he's still going to be faithful to you. Paula, I think with an African man, we have to pretty, pretty much say, let's put it with our... <laughs> uh, what's it? Your mind day. Your mm. mind for day. My mind right? day for you. Exactly. But I think... It is all about the European men. Oh, I'm going to go there because they, they're not going to come and give you all this wahala. Sister, if you cheat, you know you are losing like big time. Yes, so they're so always going to look at But if you come here... And the systems work. If you're cheating and I'm leaving you, I'm mm. walking out with 7 million of your money. Yes. Sure. Uh, that uh, one, it favors women. Please. It favors. But when you come here, we're always at the losing end. That you take all your children. Yes, you at, want uh, to Johnny leave. Johnny Depp and all this. Look at what he's so you see uh, too much reading. She still walked off with seven million. You've been reading. It's not reading. We are being twenty first no, century women. We are women. educating ourselves I get it. on the I mean, rubbish we shouldn't take. Okay. Rubbish. Yes. What kind of rubbish? It is rubbish. Which one is that? But it is rubbish. But lady, side chick is rubbish. Sissy and um, Caleb, before we wrap up this conversation, in the case where you find yourself in a polygamous marriage, how do you live in harmony? Because about a tool, let's just say, mm -hmm. right? Because I just recently saw a, a video of Yo Idochi. If I butcher the name, I'm not Nigerian, mm. so please pardon me. When his wife issue came up, taking in a second wife, we all jammed, and then I even participated. I was like, it was not fair because you come into social media to announce you have what you thinking about your wife. Mm. Uh, just recently, some few hours ago, I, I was on social media and I found that, that that he was sitting in a car with the first wife, Mary, and mm -hmm. they're sitting. Uh, Tiwasabe is like, them they call me, say my person, person, don't give person, person, belle. And then they were just charming. So for a woman who found herself in that situation, first maybe you were hurt, but yeah. now you know she's come to stay. Maybe mm -hmm. she's paid her, he's paid her diary the and Jews, stuff like that. Yeah. How do you live in harmony with such a situation? Or even the, the husband bringing in a child and like, this is my child that when I went outside I brought. Uh, uh, how? Hmm. When you don't want to leave the marriage. Uh, I, okay, so it's happened to me, okay. I have to say. Um, the, the thought was never, I'm going to stay with the girl. Okay. The thought was, I made a mistake. And I've, this has happened. I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Bah. Cry. Whatever he has to do. And in a sense, being a compassionate woman, I accepted the child into my bunch okay so do i in that sense if it's a i'm sorry blah 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 but i don't think i would have been accepting if it's like well i done did that or i'm going to do that she's here to stay we're all gonna be chilling okay, together that you know. i don't think i would i would have taken that yeah. is the fact that he came and he apologized he cried he did what he had to do to say sorry it makes it better. It cuts it off. I'm not. I don't want to be with her. I don't want to be with her. It's a mistake. Boo hoo hoo. Okay. We move on. All right. Now, Ni, mm. uh, uh, on the back of that, how can you, as a man, also ensure that your family is peaceful? Oh. Because I, Magdan was Magdan, who is in a polygamous marriage, mm -hmm. like they have their house, they have mm. their cars, exactly. different schools, exactly. and all that. So, <laughs> how would you handle That's that? That's why I told you from the mm -hmm. beginning that it is a very expensive venture. Yeah. So if you have, if you are financially sound, and you want to go into it, cool deal. That's just if you want to have a big mansion and house all of them, cool deal. Eh? In the yeah. same house. Oh, oh. some some do. Oh. No, some do. I, I didn't say. I said mm. a mansion. A mansion. Both of them, or if it is three, they are there. Everybody has their, you know. And you, the man, you have your own master, whatever. So when you are supposed to go and visit. This one for sex, you go there. If you are going here to eat, I mean, proper food, Pologamy you go there. Just really much. Isn't it just about sex, though? What? Polygamy. Uh, yes. Isn't it just about sex? Oh. Is it really? Do you really want to live with two women? Is it really like the wahala that even one woman <coughs> will give? I have, you see? Yes. Is it uh -huh. just not about I'm, sex? I'm, I'm even happy you are saying a wahala, you, which means you know. Yes, women, of course. We are, are very demanding. You are, you are wahala? Yes. Okay. Okay, that's I'm nice. not an easy woman to live with. No, eh? no way at all. But mm. need that's not 
like news. Women can sometimes stress you, but even we have a very nice way of doing yes. it. Yes. So, but I mean, listen. That's it, it, it's just about sex, isn't it? Listen, isn't it? If a house, a house like this, mm -hmm. if the first wife is occupying the top floor, the second wife can be down there. Third wife can be somewhere here. Jesus. You, the man, your house is, or your, your room or apartment is somewhere in there. So, so how if, are you going to share the sex timetable? Oh, that's one of the most easiest thing one could ever script. Mm. Sex timetable. Ah. So, in a sense, you're a sex addict there. Because supposing that um, you're having three, uh -huh. and Monday, Tuesday, I'm, I'm on it. Uh -huh. Second wife is Thursday, Friday. Like, we have to be, it has to be every day. If, if you're a rich man, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're a rich man, how do you even have time for that? No, I'm coming. That's what I'm saying. If you're a rich man, you you wouldn't be thinking about sex every day. Maybe so once or twice a week. Why are you keeping them? The what's, of the, what's the purpose of it? Then what's the purpose of having all of these wives if you is not about sex? And uh, and what, what what is the peace of mind in that? Peace of mind. Yes. It, there is there is a lot of peace of mind in really? that. Yes. In three women. If you take everything away, come for, listen. Do you know? The, do, do you know the kind of a uh, uh, financial burden you've taken off this woman and th right. their families. Uh -uh. Kelly Vnee boy, Cecilia Anubani. I'm, I'm, I'm very honored for this conversation. It's been an eye opener to me. You know, sometimes we are thinking in a, in a woman's perspective, not mm. considering what the men will say and stuff like that. But as I stated earlier, on Moons and Cuddles, we give the submission, we get the finest guests share the experience, advise you, let you know what's trending in the 21st century. <laughs> <laughs> and then you make the decision. But it was an honor to have you Thank on my you. couch. Thank you. The pleasure, like, you know, I'm, I'm really excited. This conversation really went well. Mm. As I said, we're going to shake tables and mission accomplished. Shake tables. I did today's conversation with Caleb Niboy, he's my senior in the media space and he's the host of Showbiz what on Star. Know, what is this senior? One senior of the five. With media, we always oh. say senior. See, it's just normal. <laughs> now, isn't there? I idea is 21st century, it happens all the time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and actress <laughs> Cecilia Anubani, she's one of the finest actresses we've got. That action movie that you did, is it Terminal? Yes. It's Terminus. out, right? Mm -hmm. Charlie. Crazy movie. Yeah, I, she, I, I, she I was. I watched it three times. Ooh. Because the first one, I wasn't too sure yeah. what I was, like, what I was what watching. And I had to go back and watch again. And I think I did it for the third time. So for, so for the third time, I think I took a pen and... Mm -hmm. um, pamphlet with me i actually took took some nice. notes um i shared with abu okay after uh, after I've, I've, I've had good reviews about the movie. movie i'm yet to watch and it but the I'm, title I'm, is I, in there i'm actually using this platform to actually urge corporate ghana listen we have the people here mm -hmm. it will go a long way it will go a long way to uh, like for us here in ghana if corporate ghana you do come support us yeah. in the arts because the talents are here look the kind of action movies you see over there on other do it better. platforms. Yeah. It is being done here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Paula, you should see the movie. I'm yeah, you, you it's, it's on see my it. list. Look, the, it's on my the list. The effects alone. Charlie, yeah. Yeah. not be that bush no. where they shoot that. Oh, ah, no, ah, no. I'm going and to die. I trained die. for five months for that as well. I trained for five months doing. Um, I, do, I, do, I always say I do uh, martial arts anyway, mm. but we did train for five months wow. with all of the stunts and everything. Congratulations, Sissy. Yeah. What's your latest movie? I, I know there's one um, in cinemas. So there's Drops of Happiness that's out. Um, and uh, in October, there's another one coming from Abu, Abu. called The Agency. All right. Now, do put on your social media where we can reach you. But so, um, um, okay. Do you ladies first. Caleb? Ladies first. <laughs> you see, <laughs> you see 21st century man. <laughs> Appreciate the ladies first. <laughs> Guys, you can uh, follow me on um, Instagram at Cecilia Anoban. So it's um, B-A-R-N, not the full Barnier, so just Barn. Barn. On Instagram. Twitter is the same. Facebook um, is uh, the C-A-B, uh, Barn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... But come to me on Instagram and then you can get all of the others as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Caleb. Mm. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah. Caleb Niboy. Especially so, so when you go on Instagram, you, you should look out for the disappointed DJ. You would, uh, yeah, you see you the get it. Come up. Yeah, DJ. That is my handle. I do everything some. I'm also a food blogger. I love food, Basa. Hi. Hi. Invite Guys, us to eat. Thank you very much for coming on set today. It was, it was good having you. And I hope and viewers too, we wish to have you back sometime soon. All right. 
You know, my name is Paulina de Daopoku. It's always a pleasure coming your way. And as I said, the motto for this year is we're going to spice up our relationship. Yeah. Unless those who don't want to be kept, we just leave them. Be. Just let them be. But then the ones that we are in and we want to save, we're going to do the things right because we've just been hearing stories and all that. Your relationship can be different, sis or brother. Thanks for doing the watching. You can follow me on social media, Paula Amabrini. Let's get interactive. See you sometime soon. Oh.